at the zoo, so you just need to go visit because you're always going to see something new, it seems like. So They'll have fun. to do a naming contest like they just did for the sloth. That we'll ended up being named Rolo. Rolo. Adorable. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Courtney is here tracking our forecast. Um, not so cute no. of what we're tracking for the days to come. Enjoy today while we've got it, right? Right. Yeah, today would be a great day to go and check out the zoo because we're going to see some big changes this week. Yes. A handful of changes. Cold. To, oh, boy, I told Megan the temperatures and <laughs> Megan's like, Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> really? Do we have to go into fall and winter? We do. Eventually, we had to have a cool down, right? Two first alert weather needs to talk about Tuesday for widely scattered showers, and Thursday is some cold air. The coldest air of the season starts to make its way in. I do want to start with this. We do have some patchy, dense fog out there. A lot of this fog developing near our bodies of water, our creeks, our streams, our rivers, and in some of the valleys this morning, some lower lying areas. So let's zoom in a little bit. We have half a mile of visibility in Griffin, three miles of visibility in Winder. It looks like uh, up north of Cartersville, some patchy, dense fog as well. So if you step out to some patchy, dense fog, just take it easy on the roadways this morning. I know I saw a little bit developing over the Chattahoochee in Cobb County this morning as well, but everyone is waking up quite cold again, a little warmer than this time yesterday. 40 in Carrollton, 39 in Rome, 47 in Atlanta, 37 in Canton, 38 in Helen, 42 in Athens, 39 in Covington, and 43 in Griffin. High temperatures today, they will warm very nicely, so sun, sunshine will dominate. We'll see mostly sunny skies. You'll notice some high Sears clouds building today, but overall, it's going to be another beautiful afternoon with high temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. If you need to get some yard work done, I have seen it all over the place. The leaves are all over the ground, and if they're in piles, they're up to at least my hip. Now I'm five one, so I don't know how much that's saying. But nonetheless, it'll be a good day to do yard work today and tomorrow. It'll be dry and mild, but Tuesday, the rain is going to move in, and then it's going to get really breezy behind that. So poor conditions Tuesday. Let's take you through the day tomorrow. We'll start chilly in the 40s to near 50, and then tomorrow afternoon, beautiful. Like I said, mild, dry temperatures in the low 70s. We'll see clouds build overnight. Rain will also start to roll in overnight. And around 5 o'clock, if you're an early commuter on Tuesday, rain will be widespread in West Georgia and then overtake most of Metro for that morning commute and become most widespread through the afternoon. So widely scattered showers Tuesday afternoon with temperatures only in the 60s. So it will be chilly rain and then that rain will start to taper in the evening. Now behind that cold air will settle in really Thursday and Friday. Wednesday is kind of a buffer day. Thursday and Friday, it's going to be cold and breezy. It will be in the low 30s to near 40 in the city of Atlanta. Thursday morning struggling to feel warmer than the 40s in the mountains Thursday with that breeze. Look at Friday morning. The wind chills. We're talking 20s north of the city, so grab the coats. You're going to need them for the back half of the week. Beautiful today and tomorrow. That first alert weather day Tuesday for widespread rain and then Wednesday a few showers at 70s. That cold air drops in late week. We're waking up in the 30s with highs only in the 50s Thursday through Saturday. All right, we do.